Rynell Nolan, President, CEO, Health Agents for America, coming to you live this Monday. I want to start out with talking to our agents that work in the group market. Hopefully, you are aware of the new transparency law, rules, regs surrounding prescription drug uh, transparency. That a lot of it is being done by insurance companies, PBMs, uh, TPAs, um, employers themselves. But the first person that um, your employer client is gonna go to is you. So you need to make sure that you understand what is required. Um, I heard some information from mostly folks that are in the uh, west part of the country that said insurance companies said, if you do not answer the survey that we send to the employer, talking about what um, contribution levels you you know, have for, you, for your uh, employer plan, that they were not going to do what they were supposed to do regarding prescription drugs transparency. So important number one, to let me know um, what you're hearing. And then number two, to make sure your employers know, number one, you, you're the you know first line of information. You can help them that they need to fill out their survey if they need help that you can help them. Um, and remember that most of the, the CMS guidance says, it always says good faith, do the best you can. Um, so encourage your employers to do the best you can. Now, everybody should have a reg tap account. Um, this is the CMS uh, program that provides all the webinars and um, you know things that you need for everything, but especially on this piece. So absolutely sign up for your reg tap, sign up for all the webinars on the resource library HAFA website. It's password protected for members, so please email me and if you don't remember what the password is. Um, you can go to the federal section and that is going to give you all of the information that you need regarding um, prescription drugs, frequently asked questions, webinars, things like that. Everything that I could find um, is going to be there. So I encourage you, sign up for RegTap and then listen to webinars go to the Hopper re, uh, Resource Library, make sure that you use um, us the best that you can. Now, the second thing that was um, released was um, through the Wagner Law Group, and it is the new guidance ending the public health, health emergency. Talking about COBRA and things like that, very important that you read this and that you're aware and you're able to help uh, folks understand what, uh, what is happening, what is ending, what is changing. So very, very, very important. Uh, awesome. Just got an email that doesn't look like um, a bill that's going to be there is there. Uh, Louisiana bill that's supposed to be heard Tuesday is not going to be heard on Tuesday, um, but that can always change. I wanted to address those that sell in the individual market. Um, first, I'm hearing a lot of insurance companies that are now putting the onerous on agents regarding individual commission transparency. We all know, everybody can agree that the law says insurance companies must disclose. Now the group size says agents must disclose and we're doing our job. We're doing exactly what we're supposed to do. But insurance companies, some, not all, some insurance companies are now saying, here's your revised uh, commission agreement and you must agree to uh, disclose commissions, basically or else. They're not saying or else, I'm saying or else. Um, I reached out to CMS to report this Basically, they just want the information. They're not gonna go uh, to the mat with us on this. And we, need, we, we honestly, absolutely know this is incorrect. You know, Hoffa is a nonprofit, $18 a month um, basic membership where we don't have a lot of funds 
um, just stacked up. We don't have a money tree like uh, some people do. And so if you know a agent that might want to do some, an agent, sorry, attorney, both starts with A, an attorney that would like to do some pro bono work, um, help us with this. The insurance companies need to be called on the carpet because this is incorrect. This is not what the law says. Um, it's just unfair. It's just more of agents being treated unfairly. And I wish that there was a way that all the associations could work together and, you know, not be worried about what the repercussions will be and do what's right for the independent agent. And what's right for the independent agent is force the insurance companies to do what the law says. So I'm gonna ask for help. This is a, a um, association of volunteers and you absolutely could know someone that I don't know. So very important. I don't want you to think that I haven't forgot that. CMS Agent Summit. Um, May 24th, very important. I believe that the seats are almost taken, but I was on a call last week with CMS. They said, if you'd like to attend face-to-face, -face, go ahead and apply, because it could be that, you know, someone has to back out. Uh, could be a seat opens up. So absolutely go ahead and um, apply for face-to-face -face. and know that there's unlimited I can't even remember, maybe 9,000, I could be wrong, but it's a lot of folks that could join um, virtually, uh, Zoom. So make sure you participate one way or the other. It's a full day, May 24th. Hoffa will be arriving on the 23rd, trying to do some hill visits. Um, we'll be having dinner that night, steak dinner. So if you'd like to have a steak dinner with us, um, and some of the other Hoffa members, and you don't even have to be a Hoffa member if you'd like to, to be um, you know, included, but Rebecca Yates from Utah is getting a head count for, um, for Tuesday night. Wednesday night, we will be eating Mexican, my absolute favorite. Um, give me a margarita and I'm happy, um, but we will be having Mexican with some of the CMS uh, folks. So if you'd like to attend that dinner, then you need to email me because I'm collecting headcount for Wednesday night. So we wanna make sure you're included and that you uh, join us. Again, I'm going to knock you over the head with a hammer, consent, consent, consent. Uh, make sure that you have some type of consent form. If you're on the power hour, you saw Jessica Puvion, a board member from Marksville, Louisiana, has an amazing online. Uh, she's happy to help anyone that would like to do something like that, but you need to make sure that you use one. Hoppe has had one from the very, very beginning. Faith has the Zoomies. First time she's had the Zoomies, I think, since she was a puppy. Um, but reach out, you know, go to the Hoppe website, website resource library. The marketplace checklist and consent form is listed there. Absolutely important that you use that. And then lastly, Medicaid Unwinding. On the half of, um, I mean, sorry, on the CMS call last week, we talked about the Medicaid Unwinding. I talked about what happened um, and what we've heard in Louisiana, um, how they're supposedly not allowed to work with agents. Um, we've determined that we know they can't pay us. We didn't ask you to pay us. Um, we're paid um, through commissions, but um, CMS is, is trying to help us figure out what uh, happened and what should happen. So if you were in that in that meeting with me, um, you're from Louisiana, you heard what was said. If you don't mind just sending me an email and let me know what you heard. I wanted to provide CMS, not only my perspective, but the perspective of other agents in the room. And then lastly, um, real quickly, uh, I was supposed to be in DC tomorrow and Wednesday, that got canceled. Um, hopefully to be rescheduled, will already be in rescheduled next month. Just not sure if I can make it um, from Atlanta to um, DC that quickly for um, the Business Coalition for Fair Competition meeting with uh, one of the uh, congressmen from Texas. Benefits Pro, the first week of um, May, please uh, go ahead and register, not too late to register. Come by the Hoffa, um, booth. We're going to be there. Trish 
uh, your immediate past chair, uh, Bridget Gilbert, your chairman woman of the board, and I, and I will be running the booth. Uh, we look forward to seeing lots of HAFA members there. And then finally, the HAFA Summit, August 10th and 11th. Um, if you scroll down in the Monday Morning News, and also um, we're sending out a separate um, email, we need you to go ahead and book your room, um, go ahead and register, early registration. And if you know of anyone who would like to be a sponsor, um, we'd be happy to send them a sponsorship packet or they can get that information from the Hoffa website. So a lot going on, never, never a dull moment. Oh, I said lastly, but I really didn't mean lastly. Uh, Louisiana, a couple of things. Folks that are in Louisiana, there was an advisory letter that went out um, on the 12th. And it said that the uh, advisory letter regarding commissions was rescinded. Now, it gave some people some heartburn. They reached out, everybody was scared. What does this mean? And I reached out to Matt Stewart, the deputy commissioner for licensing. And basically he said they were just cleaning up language um, that nothing changed. changed. The other thing is important, Louisiana is SB 208. Um, that is the bill out of the Senate insurance that will remove your right to vote for commissioner of insurance. I thought it was going to be uh, heard on Tuesday and I'm looking at the agenda uh, right now. It's not on uh, right this second, but uh, that doesn't mean that can change. Make sure that you send your letter, your email that we've been sending to you, send that email directly to the uh, senators on that committee. Explain to them why it is important for you, your clients and our industry and the consumers of Louisiana to pick the candidate that's best for us versus a, a um, committee. So very important, SB 208, uh, you need to act, you need to pay attention. And if I email you later this afternoon and tell you it's been added to the agenda, then please, um, if you can be at the Capitol, then, then let's be at the Capitol. But I think I've talked long enough. So happy to be at the Hoffa office. I really, really am. Three years was too long to be working from the house and it's nice to go to an office that's so close, close to the Capitol. So if you're ever passing by, you're close to the Capitol, you're close to downtown, stop, say hello, and um, I'd love to see you. I'm proud and honored to represent the Hoffa Freedom Fighters, the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the ninja warriors, until next Monday. Have a great day.